Hi, this is Andrew. Uh, my friend Daniel is on the camera and we're going to do an unboxing review for the launch uh, X431 V Plus. Uh, I think it's also called the Pro 3. Uh, my box came saying V Plus. So here we go. Uh, let me get it, open it up. See, it comes with a hard case. Uh, handle, you see here. And let me open this thing up. See everything. Maybe you zoom down on this little bit. Okay. All right. So here's the collection of connectors, and we get the packing receipt, packing slip uh, here. In the first set of parts. Okay. That'll be my cheat sheet. This is packing list for everything that comes in the package. Like the two sides, there's so much stuff. But this is the main section we'll look at. So, uh, let's start with the connectors since they're visible. There you go, now you can read it clearly. Okay, so I talked to the seller about this. You can see there's some empty spaces here. Everything we see here now is for North America. The parts that are missing, four parts, uh, a fuse, but it doesn't matter. Uh, that's in this bag here. Uh, these four parts are for Asia. Uh, they're not for cars made in North America or sold in North America. So you should have all these sections and a few missing ones, and that's normal. So uh, we have, as you can see, Toyota, Honda, Subaru, GM, Ford, BMW. Oh, maybe you can't see that clearly. BMW, Mercedes-Benz, everything you'll need is right here. Like I said, what's missing you don't need, so no worry. So you said there'll be four empty spots, slots, but don't worry about it. You have what you need when you open it up if you see it like this. And you can see it again on the packing list, you can match it all up if you want. Okay, so. This way. So the first bag we hear you're going to open up is called Test Cable. Okay. Here. So, we have four cables. Yep, four cables. All right. uh, there we go. Okay, so four cables. Uh, the next bag in is called accessories. Oh, that's this, this bag. This bag is the accessories bag. So, it has the packing list, it has the quick start guide, which actually I'll also use sheet pretty soon. Uh, the serial number and password registration card, uh, the user manual, uh, the fuses I was talking about, and a power adapter and USB cable. That side. Here's the next bag called connectors. So I guess we'll call this connector cables since these are just standard connectors. As you can see, additional types of connectors depending on what kind of car you have. And then there's another bag here. They also call it connectors. That's why you need two sides, right? So much stuff. Everything you can possibly need for every car is in here. So, uh, unless, unless you're talking about trucks, you know, if you're talking commercial trucks, it may not be here, but any kind of passenger car, all the connectors will be in this set. And you can see it's plenty more, plenty more. Okay. So, there's that. Now this is your primary connector for the OBD. You can see it's called DBS CAR2. It's the OBD2 Bluetooth connection. So you can connect this to your slot in your car, and then you connect via Bluetooth to the main test unit, X431 test unit. Let me, I already had this on earlier, let me see if it's still on. Come on, where is it? Ah, there we go. 
So, power. Ah, there we are. Okay. So, we connect these two together, and now you're connected to your car, right? So, uh, here's the software. It's already pre installed. I haven't finished the registration yet. We're going to do that together, but we can open it up. You can see, there we go. So now it's very empty, right? When we look at this box, you'll we'll see the screen should have all this, right? But that's after you finish the registration. Right now, you see nothing. 